they invited us to be part of one of the drama shootings. You are the flowers of my eyes. However, I'm here with the film, don't need to show you. We just visited the show and I don't really get it. Welcome at day two here at the Hengdian Studios. And you think, Sven, why are you so, well, very well lit in the sunlight at, well, morning time? It's 8.15 and in China that means it's already 36 degrees. Well, we are, our first visit here is in the Qin dynasty. And, um, well, that's the first dynasty in uh, the Chinese empire. Is that correct? That's correct. I just get all those information just before I do this talk from my well-known girlfriend. However, I don't know that much about Chinese history, unfortunately. And uh, there are a lot of movies shot here as well. And I already forgot the name of a famous drama that was shot here. But I show you the video clip here with the name as well. Otherwise, I need to record this again. And we just want to explore this place. This is what we are going to do afterwards as well. So while we're here and I just learned how to write in the Qin Dynasty, that is also learned how to greet in Qin Dynasty, which means you do it like this, and then you say, basically this is I greet to you, and then you show respect to each other. Practical tip number one when you are here at the Qing Dynasty, after the swords fight people, when you get out of the building, there will be people after the show telling you which direction you need to go, which goes in the back there, underneath, which is called uh, the underground imperial city. Which sounds very nice, but we read online that it's just a shopping mall which is hidden there, so that's why they try to force you there. You can avoid it by walking around the building and just ignore the people and yelling at you, screaming that you need to go the other direction. There's a lot of uh, symbolic meanings here around the square. And one of those is that uh, behind me, just there, is uh, an eight dragon pillars. And the four dragon pillars in the middle are the biggest one, which are only meant for the emperor, which shows that he was the emperor and he is only allowed to walk on that road. Another symbolic meaning is the stairs in front of the palace, which means that there are 99 staircases before you reach the palace grounds and nine is the biggest number in Chinese. Another history fact is when Qin conquered all the kingdoms, he also built the Great Wall to protect his kingdom as well. So 2200 years ago, he was the one who started to build the Great Wall. And we are now in uh, studio number four, which is uh, during the Tsung dynasty. And the difference is, luckily, I was afraid that this would be a palace as well. However, the interesting part is there's some uh, movie shooting, well, not going on at the moment, but they're preparing for a new movie shoot. And that means that currently the uh, streets are very decorated in the way how, uh, well, the daily life was going on at that time. who tried this one. The first time went all right, as you can see now. But the second time, this happened and that's what the result is of this.
and that's it for Tsung Dynasty. The interesting part was at least that, as you can see, well, it's difficult to see, but behind me there's a shooting going on. So here there are more television crews active. And besides that, another interesting fact is that uh, nowadays it's even better to play a farmer than to be a farmer in Hengdian. And we are at our last stop at Hengdian World Studios, which is uh, the Qing, uh, during the Qing and Ming dynasty. And this area will cover all the street life and, well, basically an old city around that time in the Qing and Ming dynasty. That's it for Hengdian World Studios and it can definitely recommend this place to everyone because there are not that many foreigners here. I haven't seen any other foreigner yet here. However, um, it's a good place where you can at least discover China how it was in the past but also see how they make some of their movies here. And as always, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and see you in the next video.